Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Let's get ready to attack Chancha Castle. So what I want to do before that is give my power pills over to Gamliang, because they only apply to the first hit of the bow, so it wouldn't benefit Wen Huen as much as it would Gamliang. I mean, it's not a big deal either way. Eventually, I will use power pills. Power pills with bows anyway. But it would be slightly better. Even if you don't have power pills, you'll be fine as we assault Changcha Castle and try to Okay, conquer it. I was gonna say capture, but we can go with that too. For boss time against four generals. I'm totally unprepared for four. Let's see what they've got. Hanjuan, uh nothing too extraordinary pretty weak on the strength and but he's got some variety in tactics the ones that i am worried about are huang Zhong, who's the old tiger general that we were told about he's got really good strength decent intelligence so i definitely want to add him to my ranks after killing him and then for Wei An, he's not that far off either with really high strength and over a thousand soldiers so i'd really like to have him too and finally, Yan Ling, who is pretty terrible. I mean, he's got slightly more strength than Han Zhuan, but yeah, I'm not really worried about him. He has really low intelligence. Okay, so let's get started here with a couple Yan Rei tactics. And then, let's see, I think Wen Wen could reduce Wei An below a thousand soldiers with his bow. If both hits go through, so I think that'll work. With, uh, let's see, Yan Liang. Let's use a power pill on Huang Zhong to reduce him below a thousand soldiers. And let's get Ji Ro ready to go. Hey, that rhyme. But yeah, that'll reduce all incoming damage by 50%. And we might need that since my leading generals are relatively light on soldiers there but i think we'll be fine all right there you go hopefully we can get yang ling or yeah yang ling below a thousand soldiers very nice ah, i was gonna say and deal with the rebel force but uh no no okay so how about Let's go with Fu Bing on the Rebel Force, since he would probably have really low intelligence. At least I think he would, but maybe not less than uh, Yang Ling. Oh, Yang Ling actually has less. Okay. Then let's go like that to get Fu Bing set up. If I can stop canceling what I'm doing, that would make this a lot faster. And then, let's see, another power pill would take out Huang Zhong. So let's have the others. Well, let's have Yan Liang take care of Wan Chung. And then go two. And Wen Wen. Reduce Han Juan below a thousand soldiers. Very nicely done. And we can auto target the second hit. As long as you get the first hit to go through, the second hit will auto target. But the first one won't. So if the guy is gone. It's still considered a tactic, and being single targeting, it doesn't auto target to someone else. Okay, then Wei An is the next one that I'm concerned about. How about we go after, yeah, Han Juan and have the rest of us go after Wei An? We should be able to finish him off there. As long as we don't miss, that would make it a lot faster. Well, at least we got Fu Bing sticking around for a little while. I forget, I thought it was like a 1 in 4 chance of it falling off. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but in any case, uh, let's see. Okay, why don't you guys... Yeah, we'll just have everyone go up top there. Just finish him off there. Auto target? Hey! Alright! Well, it might have fallen off by now. But yeah, Yang Ling is nothing to 
really worried about. I was thinking about maybe healing up a little bit there, but uh, no, that doesn't seem to be necessary here. But yeah, it's one thing I really like about this game. So many different tactics are useful throughout the game. It's pretty rare for an 8-bit JRPG to do that. Usually it's like the brute force method and or level grinding. So I like when they do that here. And we gained another level. A few more soldiers for some of our generals. And, oh, no tactic? Hmm. Oh, because we're at level 18. And in order to learn the tactic Beiji at level 18, you have to have a tactician with at least 240 intelligence. And we don't get that for a little while. Maybe I could have ran from some battles and or used smoke pots. To keep my levels down a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. I, I would not worry about that. It's only like maybe four MTP that we miss out on, so whatever. I'm not going to go out of my way to get that, but I am going to get these guys out of my way by letting them join. More party members with Wei An and Huang Zhong, the Tiger General. More party members. Hi, right, how's it going? Well, let's see what we got going on here first. Sure, why not? Could use the break. Let's see, to the lower right, we have the equipment shop. Though, I don't think I'll have enough money to buy everything I want right away. But let's see what we got. Okay, I do want to get a couple bows. So, let's see. Let's get one for Yan Liang and one for Guo Tu. And that ought to be good enough. I do want to buy five ring mails, but I don't have the money yet. So, I'm going to have to find the item shop to sell my previous armor. Oh, well, I kind of don't want to die. I don't really know of another way of preventing that. But in any case, below this not-so-ordinary well, we find a sword. That's it? Just sword? Nothing creative or anything? No. No, just a sword. But it is really, really strong there. Oh, right. Uh, provisions there. We don't need those. We just got ten grand worth of those. Oh. Are, are you with us? Or I thought, like, all the soldiers, like, worked here or lived here Something, I don't know. Let's see, at the palace, there's no one here. And unfortunately, there is no historian here, so we can't even invite Liu Bei here anyway. Remember that palace for later. I think they misspelled the guy's name. I think it's supposed to be Zhao Fan. But, uh, yeah, that's the next castle. We'll be going to Guiyang. Okay, how's it going? Oh, are you the guy from before, or are you, uh, to someone else with, uh, another tiger, whatever? But here, we've got a headquarters, at least, so I want to drop someone off here. Zhao Yun. Unfortunately, he, his soldier growth isn't that spectacular right now, so let's give Chitu Ma back to Guan Yu for now, and then we'll remove... Zhao Yun from the party for now. I will want to bring him back once his soldiers catch up, but for right now, we've got decent generals with over a thousand soldiers, and unfortunately, I have to keep Guan Yu and Zhang Fei in the traveling party, so that's what I've got. So I'm going to have to stick with them, but I do want to add Wei Yan to the party to replace him. He should have all of his old equipment there. And what else? Oh yeah, I want to check out Huang Zhang there, who unfortunately doesn't have the same number of soldiers now that he had when he was an enemy there. So, we're, but he is a tiger general. He will get more. So eventually I want to bring him into the party, but for right now, not enough soldiers. So we'll save him for later. Let's see, for Wei An, since he does have more intelligence, 
than Ghoul 2, even though he has the exact same number of soldiers, I'd put Wei An ahead of him in the lineup, since with more intelligence, he's more likely to resist tactics. So we got all that going there. And then at the item shop, I need to sell my uh, old sabers. We're gonna be getting rid of all of those. And we can finally get rid of the padded armor. Wow, we got a lot of mileage out of that stuff. But the bow and, uh, well, the sword we want to uh, hold on to. Even the trident, really, we want to hold on to. I'm going to redistribute all of my equipment eventually. But yeah, now we'll have the money to buy those ring mails that I want. And money will cease to be a problem for the remainder of the game. You'll see why coming up, viewers. But yeah, let's get rid of those sabers. Okay, that ought to be good enough there. And then another thing I uh, want to do here is finally restock on power pills. I want to get five of them for all of my active party members, except for Guan Yu, because he has... Chitu Ma there, so I'm going to, uh, yeah, take care of that off screen there. And also, let's see, yeah, so remember this guy. Zhao Fan there. What makes him so untrustworthy, though? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.